Welcome to another PFT Systems instructional video on how to assemble our Black Gator field attachable lower connector. Today, Brad will show you how to quickly and easily assemble our field attachable lower connector. But first, I'd like to point out several important Black Gator advantages. First, PFT's exclusive black finish provides maximum protection against wellbore conditions and with its inherent lubricating properties, it reduces thread galling and seizing, allowing for a smooth breakout and makeup every time. Second, PFT's patented Gator Grip crimpless contact eliminates conductor bending and distortion while providing maximum electrical contact. This means minimum heat buildup and that means longer run life. Third, PFT's new two-piece tri-boot sealing element provides all the conductor protection you'll need. Fourth, PFT's flat armor adapter eliminates the need to transition flat cable to round. Fifth, no potting is necessary. No time is wasted keeping potting compound warm or waiting for it to set up. And lastly, the two-turn coupling nut on the PFT eye seal type connector provides a quick, strong makeup. These design differences are why the Black Gator is the fastest, most user-friendly, field-attachable connector on the market. Brad will now start the assembly. First, make sure you have the following tools ready. Your company approved cutting tool, hacksaw, sandpaper, flat file, pliers, tin snips, and a marker. All other items used in the assembly are included in the connector kit. To begin, hold the cable up against the side of the penetrator and mark the cable one and three quarter inches below the bottom of the penetrator. After you mark it, Cut the cable at the mark and proceed with the assembly of the connector. First, slide the armor adapter approximately 8 inches down the cable. Armor adapters are supplied for flat and round cables. Now, using the supplied white cut gauge, measure and mark the armor at 4 and 1 quarter inches. Carefully remove the armor and secure it in place. Inspect for damage. If there is any damage, Remeasure the armor and cut again. If the cable must be reprepped, the production tubing length may need to be adjusted. If assembling the connector on the overwrap end of the cable, secure the armor in place by tightly wrapping it two times with supplied high modulus tape. You can now slightly spread the three conductors and remove any tape and or braid from each. Using the supplied white cut gauge, measure and mark the lead sheath or barrier at 3 inches. Note, if the cable has lead or other barrier material, use the cut gauge to measure and mark at the 1 and 3 quarter inch tape line. Regardless if the cable has lead or other barrier material, it still needs to be marked at 1 and 3 quarter inches and taped with high mod tape. Now, strip back the lead sheath or barrier from each conductor, being careful not to cut or damage the primary insulation. Inspect for damage. If there is any damage, start again from the beginning. Again, using the supplied white cut gauge, measure and mark the conductor insulation at the 9 16 insulation line and strip back the insulation on each leg. Pencil or taper the ends of the conductors then lightly abrade and clean them. Regardless if the cable has lead or other barrier material, it still needs to be marked at 1 and 3 quarter inches and taped with high mod tape. Using the supplied high modulus tape, begin taping each leg. Start at the armor cut and using a 50% overlap and a half stretch on the tape, wrap to the 1 and 3 quarter inch tape line mark. Make sure to end the tape straight up and down aligned with the tape line mark. Then wrap back towards the armor cut. Be sure to cover all exposed insulation if lead and or a barrier material is not present. Now cut and remove any excess tape and then slide the minor body onto the cable and up to the armor adapter. Carefully bend each conductor leg so that they form a triangle that the seals will fit over. The two outside conductors should be bent downward, the center one upwards. It's important that you do not stress or crack the lead or barrier. The legs need to be bent equally. You can check this by making sure that the lead cuts, insulation cuts, 
and conductor ends of each leg are all even with each other. Before proceeding any further, thoroughly clean each conductor. Take the black cable seal and lightly grease its face. Then insert the flat side of the gray secondary seal into the recess of the black cable seal. Now hold up the black and gray seal assembly and slide the follower with wave spring facing to the back over the three legs of the cable seal. Note, the follower body on the high temperature HL kit contains two wave springs. Slightly spread the three conductors apart and apply a light coat of dielectric grease on each one. Take the seal assembly and slide it over the three conductors until the nose of the gray secondary seal is even with the insulation cut. Use a pen or marker to place a mark on the high modulus tape just behind the cable seal. Clean exposed copper conductors and the gator grip contacts with contact cleaner. You can now push the gator grip contacts onto each conductor until they stop. This should put them in contact with the primary conductor insulation. For eye seal connectors, there is no alignment required. Now, lightly lubricate the OD of the cable seal assembly with a supplied dielectric grease. You can now position the nose of the cable seal assembly to touch the back of the gator grip. Double check to make sure all the conductors are still aligned. While holding the follower and the cable seal assembly securely, slide the major body assembly onto the three gator grip contacts and the cable seal assembly. Ensure the mark placed on the high modulus tape is still visible and the seal has not moved from its original location. Holding the down hole cable securely, you can, using a small rubber mallet, gently tap the protective cap until the cable seal assembly is inside the major body assembly. At this point, the follower should be shouldered out against the major body assembly. Ensure the mark placed on the high modulus tape is still visible and the seal has not moved from its original location. The gap between the follower and the major body assembly should be no more than one eighth of an inch. Remove the protective plastic cap and insert the three eight thirty seconds by one and a quarter inch long socket head screws into the front end of the major body assembly and begin tightening with supplied Allen wrench. Make sure you alternate tightening each screw until they are all tightened securely. Now, holding the major body securely, slide the minor body up and thread it onto the major body until it shoulders out. Note, the minor body should be hand tightened and does not require any other tools. If it will not fully thread on, remove minor body and inspect threads for damage. You can now slide the armor adapter up and into the back of the minor body and secure it with the set screws. When using a flat armor adapter, loosen the large cap screws. Using the two small set screws in the adapter, adjust both so that they are equally spaced on the cable. Tighten the two small set screws until made up, then lightly snug the large cap screws. When using a round armor adapter, simply run it into the minor body and secure the set screws on the OD of the minor body. To finish, slightly grease the OD of each nose on the grommet and insert it into the face of the connector. Lastly, install a protective plastic cap. You now have a fully assembled lower connector. As you have just seen, assembly of the PFT Black Gator field attachable connector is fast and user friendly. Most important, it provides the performance you need through the harshest of conditions. So when you want the best in field attachable connectors, remember the good guys wear black. Ask for the Black Gator field attachable lower connector from PFT. Power feed through systems and connectors.